Hi there, and welcome to another quick video from me about how to update your MyDMX Go or Light Rider LR512 interface as a result of new firmware being released recently. If, like me, you're about to go out and start gigs again, then you're going to want to make sure that your interface and the associated apps are working correctly so that you don't have any issues when you get to your first venue. So, first things first, in order to be able to update the firmware, you need to head over to adj.com, go to the My DMX Go product page, scroll down and look for the download section, and then go and grab the My DMX Go Mac firmware or PC firmware update, depending on whether you're using either a Mac or a PC. Download the, uh, the zip file, open it up, and then inside you'll find the Hardware Manager app. And uh, what we'll do then do is I'm going to quickly open this app, just shrink this window, open the Hardware Manager app, and you'll be presented with something that looks like this. Key thing to look out for is the uh, something like the June 11, 2021 date at the top. That shows that you're using the current date. I'm assuming at this point that you've actually connected your MyDMX Go to your laptop. If you have, um, you would expect to see uh, a zero one indicator on the top, showing that the, the device is alive, but not really connected to anything. When I start the Hardware Manager app, you'll notice I've got two icons on the left-hand side. The first one has a little USB symbol against it and shows that the uh, my DMX Go is connected directly to my computer via USB. And the second one shows that the app can, the Hardware Manager app can also see uh, my DMX Go via my local area network because when my uh, my DMX Go starts, it automatically connects to my home network as well. But for the purposes of updating firmware, we want to make sure that we're going to connect via USB. Now I'm going to click the icon at the top. I noticed on mine that the that the uh, indicator on the interface itself still says zero one, okay? Um, and anybody who's used Hardware Manager before will notice that a whole bunch of icons that we normally see here are missing. Uh, and that's because of this red message here that says you must upgrade the firmware. So before I do anything else, I'm gonna click the firmware icon and show it will show that my current device firmware is version 0.24, uh, dated around uh, February two, uh, 2020. And the new firmware version is 0.26, uh, with a date of around about March 2021. So this should take a few seconds. I'm going to click the firmware update. I'm going to watch what happens on the device and it really should just take a matter of a few seconds. It's gone into bootloader, updating the firmware. The device itself went blank. It's flashed a few times. It now has an 88 symbol on there while it continues to update. And I'm just waiting for it to restart. And now my, uh, my DMX Go has now restarted successfully. You can see on screen there's a message that says the firmware was successfully updated. And in fact, the My DMX Go itself now has the LI indicator showing that it's connected. So I'm going to click OK and click the top icon. So this is happening real time. Uh, it looks rather like my has uh, not connected to my home network anymore. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Uh, but what I am interested to see is that all of the icons that I was previously used to seeing are all now back. So quick check on the firmware tab here, you'll see that the new firmware version is now uh, 0.26, the same as the device firmware. And if I go and have a quick look at the other items, you'll see that this is my uh, device type and its device name. If I quickly scroll down and look at the uh, uh, SUT, you should see that we've got the Light Rider Full Mode iOS for life and Light Rider Full Mode Android for life. Those are the two licenses that are key to using both the MyDMX Go and the Light Rider apps on your iPad or Android tablets. Last thing I'm going to check is just Wi-Fi to see what's happening down here. So this should show me my Wi-Fi network. Um, in fact, yeah, it does uh, indicate that 
my uh, my DMX Go is connected to my Moss Eisley Cantina home network. Um, you can see that it's connected because it has the forget button. Um, mine is also uh, set in Wi-Fi mode as dual, which means that if it cannot connect to this network, then it will attempt to start up its own Wi-Fi network. Um, and uh, for the purpose of this video, I've just changed the password to password. I would strongly recommend that you do not do that, that you set your password to something far more secure. But anyway, so I'm gonna now uh, quickly disconnect my uh, my DMX Go, uh, the hardware, so that it will literally power off and on again. And hopefully, uh, if I then uh, restart uh, hardware manager, I'm going to quit and then restart it again. We should see that the device will connect to both uh, hardware manager via both USB and my network. So that's looking pretty cool. Uh, when I now click the top icon, the uh, the indicator on the top of the the device itself switches to LI, uh, showing that there's a live connection and we're back in business. So this shows. Again, I can whiz through all of these things. It's all looking pretty cool. Now, I am aware that there are some people that do have some issues with updating their device. Um, I'm also, I'm very conscious that mine went very smoothly um, and I've never really had any issues with doing that. Um, I'm using um, a fairly standard MacBook Pro, like a 2014 MacBook Pro um, uh, and a regular USB-C cable uh, to connect the interface to my computer. Uh, and uh, if you're having any issues with uh, later models, particularly M1 MacBooks, I, I have heard of some people uh, struggling with those. Um, if you have any issues at all, uh, then I would recommend that you either speak to ADJ if you're using my DMX Go, or you speak to Lightrider, raise support, support tickets in the usual way uh, and they will be able to help you out. Um, there is, of course, uh, the usual Facebook groups uh, for help as well, um, and there are always helpful people in there that may give you some pointers um, if you're struggling. But I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, you can either pop them in the comments below or head over to one of the Facebook groups. Uh, the Light Rider uh, My DMX Go Help and Support group is the one that I look after, and uh, there's usually people in there to help if you need it. But that's all for now. Thanks very much.